Hello students. In today's online class, we are going to study standard 7 properties of triangles. For which we are going to study triangles, sides, angles, vertices, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, scalene triangle, acute triangle, obtuse triangle, right angle triangle, and some of all the angles of triangle. These are the concepts or are the outlines that we are going to study. So we start with the triangles, what is a triangle and how it is formed. Any triangle can have any case month. If we take three non-collinear points, non-collinear means that are not falling in the same straight line. Like the points A, B, C they are not falling in the same straight line. Means we have three points which are equal to number. If you have to point, you can use the same point. If you have to use point, you can use the same point. Then they are collinear. Collinear. And when you have to use the non-collinear. So, the first thing you have to use is that point should be non-collinear. And after joining this point, we get a triangle. And the point A, B, C are called vertices of triangle. Vertices of triangle. And the triangle has three angles, angle A, angle B, angle C. And in detail the naming is angle BAC, angle ABC, and angle ACB. A triangle has three angles, BAC, ABC, and ACB. And it also has three sides. Which are the sides? AB, first side. BC second side, CA third side. AB, BC, CA. These are the three sides. Three sides, three vertices, three angles. These are the things that, that triangle contains. So triangles we have to know what sides are, what angles are, vertices are, and triangles are. Again we come to the types of triangles. First we get equilateral triangle. Such a triangle is a kind of triangle in which all the three sides are equal. If a triangle has all the three sides equal, means a triangle which has all the sides are also equal. equal. This is called equilateral triangle. And by property of equilateral triangle, we have all the angles are 60 degree. Each angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree. Then isosceles triangle in which two sides are equal, this is equilateral. This is Equilateral. Now we come to isosceles. Means two sides are equal. Isosceles triangle has only two sides equal. Like triangle ABC has AB is equal to AC. So angles opposite to equal sides are also equal. Then these two angles are also equal. If this angle is X, then this angle is also X. This is the property of isosceles triangle. Two sides and two angles are equal. Two sides and two angles are equal. And again, we get an scalene triangle. For example, we take a triangle whose sides are 3 cm, 4 cm, and 5 cm. Then it is a scalene triangle because no sides are equal. All sides are different. All sides are, all sides are different. These are the points to be noted. Our sides are different. Again, we come to acute triangle. What is an acute triangle? Acute means less than 90 degree. As a angles, the 0 is 90 degree crossing. They are called acute angles. Angles falling between 0 degree and 90 degree are called acute angles. And the triangle is having all the acute angles. Suppose this triangle ABC and these are the acute angles. All the angles are acute. Then it is acute angle triangle. Like a triangle having an angle 60 degree, 50 degree and 70 degree. It is an acute angle triangle because all the angles are less than 90 degree. Again, we come to obtuse angle triangle. Obtuse means 90 to 180. Angles falling between 90 to 
Ci vuole il dear optimus. And train mechanic only one optimus angle. Okay, train mechanic have only one optimus angle. A triangle cannot have more than one of two singles. A triangle में एक से ज़्यादा आपके singles नहीं हो सकते। आप imagine करिए। अगर एक triangle में एक से ज़्यादा आपके singles हो जाएंगे तो triangle ही form नहीं होगा। ये फिर भी आई है। So only one angle can be obtuse. Like we have one twenty degree angle. This is thirty. This is thirty. So it is an obtuse type triangle in which only one angle is greater than ninety. मींस एक ऑप्टिक एंगल ट्रायंगल में एक एंगल से ज्यादा ऑप्टिक नहीं हो सकता अगर एक से ज्यादा ऑप्टिक होगा तो ट्रायंगल ही फॉर्म नहीं होगा तो एक एंगल ऑप्टिक होगा बाकी एंगल ट्रायंगल्स होंगे और इस तरह से ये ऑप्टिक ट्रायंगल हो जाएगा ये इसके बाद हमने कहा है राइट ट्रायंगल राइट को क्या होता है 90 डिग्री तो एक ट्रायंगल जिसमें एक एंगल 90 का होता है ये राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल कहलाएगा ये एंगल राइट होगा ये अब आप कहेंगे कि इसमें एक ज्यादा राइट क्यों नहीं हो सकते अगर आप बना के देखिए तो एक ज्यादा राइट वाला बनेगा ही नहीं अगर आप यहाँ दोनों राइट ले लेंगे तो ये राइट के पैरल हो जाएगी ट्रायंगल के लिए फॉर्म भी नहीं होगा सो ये राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल का नेवर है मोर देन वन राइट एंगल बाकी एंगल्स कैसे होंगे आप समझ लीजिए ये एक्यूट एंगल होगा ये थर्टी होंगे सिक्सटी होंगे सारे एंगल नाइन्टी से क्या होंगे छोटे तो दो एंगल एक्यूट होंगे बाकी राइट होगा तो ये राइट एंगल हो गया इसके बाद आपकी एक एंगल सब वाली बात एक ट्रायंगल के तीनों एंगल का सम कितना होता है वन डिग्री होता है तो ट्रायंगल का एंगल सम कितना होता है 180 डिग्री इस पर अभी हम कुछ फॉर्मूलास देखने जा रहे हैं एंगल सम के आधार पर हम किस तरह से जो है प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे सो आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू रन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग फर्स्ट यू नोट डाउन दिस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव टेकन वन प्रॉब्लम In which a triangle ABC is given and the line D is parallel to BC. It is given that line D parallel BC. Angle A is 65, angle B is 55, and we have to find angle AD like this angle, and angle AET like this angle, and angle C like this angle. We have to find these three angles one by one. So first we start with the main triangle ABC. We write in triangle ABC. By angle sum, which is a property, we have angle A, a plus angle B plus angle C. This is 180 degree. We put the values. Angle A is 65, B is 55, and we have to find angle C first. Angle 65 and 55 are together with 120 degree plus angle C, which comes to be. 180 and C is 180 minus 20, 120. So this is 60 degree. We have find first angle C which is 60 degree. Now we calculate other angles in which we are going to use the property of parallel lines. If we see angle D like AD and 55, they are corresponding angles. As you can see the secret figure, this is forming an F kind of figure. A D E. B C. This is a figure in which we have to find this angle and this is 55, which is kind of F figure. F figure is corresponding angle, so we write angle A D E is equal to angle B equal to 55 degree. Why it is 55? Because of corresponding angle. These are corresponding angles as per given condition. These are corresponding angles. So we have to give reasons for all the steps. We don't have to miss any kind of reason. हमें हर step का reason देना जरूरी है, otherwise कोई भी statement हमारा valid नहीं होगा। हर जगह जैसा आएगा ना वो आपको लिखना होगा, पर हमारा AD is equal to similarly, it is also forming a kind of figure. Second figure is like I am making this figure. This is also F in some way, and this is 60. This is angle C. This is D E A. And we make a secret figure to <coughs> understand the questions better. So I have to find angle A D. So angle A D is equal to angle C is equal to 60 degree. Also, this is corresponding angle. So we write corresponding angle. And 
and you have to also to write T E parallel B C here and A B is transversal. A B is transversal. You shouldn't forget to write parallel lines and transversal also along with the corresponding thing. D E parallel B C and A C is transversal here. Transversal are not same everywhere. This is A B. This is A C is transversal. Hope you have understood the concept of this kind of questions, and you can do many more questions like this in your exercises. So, hoping this, I am closing the video, oh, and uh, you do all the other questions. Thank you.